Jewish communities in Canada and around the world are on edge. Our communities have spoken clearly that they don't feel safe and we are being responsive to that concern. After a former Hamas leader called for a day of action Friday, in Toronto, command posts set up in the heart of this predominantly Jewish neighbourhood. As police in the city and across the country step up patrols, though they say there have been no credible threats. And in Montreal, the Jewish General Hospital is encouraging the cancellation of non-essential appointments. And hopefully, Montrealers, we can resist together to, know, to this this hatred that is happening. Precautions are also being taken at Jewish institutions across Europe and the United States. Back in Toronto, police arrested three men, the hate crime unit now investigating after alleged threats outside of a Jewish school. I hope tomorrow will be an opportunity for us to test the safety and security that we feel here in Canada. Some parents with children at Jewish day schools are keeping them home Friday, but Maya Roth's four children will be in class. They need structure. They need a sense of normalcy during these times. Rabbi Jared Grover has been working directly with Toronto police. He says fear and anxiety are warranted, but he has been counseling resiliency. You don't cower. You stand up to bullies. I am sending my children to school tomorrow. I have young children in Jewish day schools. I'm encouraging my friends to send their children to school. The same concern in Muslim communities, where police are also increasing their presence. The idea that you have to um, be protected as you simply go to a mosque for prayer is something that's it's, uh, it's not comforting, it's, it's, it's unfathomable, it shouldn't be happening in Canada. A shared emotion as a war happening a world away is felt in communities across the country. Jamie Strachan, CBC News, Toronto.